What's up ladies and gentlemen, did I have another unboxing for you guys, and I thought I'd attempt to make this unboxing just a tad bit more interesting. And I don't mean cinematic shots wise, I mean just making the unboxing interesting. So let's get started. First off, in front of the box we get ourselves the device itself, we get ourselves a cool little logo, and since this is by Rav Power, they gotta put their names on it obviously. And this is of course their deluxe series. I actually don't have one, but two of these, and one of them is 13,000 milliamps and I'll be comparing the two. The other one is of course 15,000 milliamps. The difference is not that big. It may be the difference between getting an extra 20 or 30 percent extra charge on your phone. Now 15,000 milliamps is a lot. Let me put that in perspective. That basically allows you to charge your phone five times over if it's an iPhone 5. 5S wise it's probably a little bit less and if it's a 6 it's probably a tad bit less. And it's probably a 6 plus so it's a little less and same thing goes with the iPad, depending on how big your device's battery is. And it will take a little bit longer to charge than your wall socket, obviously. But my past experiences with a variety of RAV uh, portable products, I'm guessing it's going to charge pretty fast. So let's go ahead and unbox it. So right here we got ourselves this cool little thing, drag that right off. And inside of the box, right in the front, we get ourselves a thank you for your purchase. Why, you're welcome. Then of course we get the device itself. This thing will be your power brick. The giant battery is stored inside of here and I'm gonna go ahead and place this very nice feeling thing to the side. All right, underneath that we get the most useful product of all. This thing you'll be using on a daily basis. So yeah, afterwards we get ourselves warranty information and an extremely thick instruction manual, wow. like. This is thick for a device that you simply go ahead and plug your phone charger into. This has got to be like 130 pages. Okay then, on to the next thing. So, what makes this thing unique from basically every other portable charger out there is the fact that it comes with a variety of uh, convenient things, as you might say. And you're like, what the heck does that mean? Well, let's find out. First off, you get yourself your puny little wire. Why is this wire useful and why does it matter? Well, if you guys don't like long wires like your iPhone charger, then you can actually go ahead and use this. It's actually made out of flat cabling. Basically, that means it won't tangle. Like you'll, You can try to tie it into a knot, but it won't tangle on its own. So that's pretty convenient. And if you guys don't want to use your device and just want to maybe leave it inside of your giant pockets, or if you want to leave it in, say, I don't know, just in your backpack, and you don't want it to mess with all your other wires, then the short wire is good for you. I'm turning this into a review. Then, of course, we get ourselves the long wire. So the long wiring is also crucial. And that's because this is for you when you actually want to use your device. So, of course, go ahead and use this. And uh, here's where it gets even more interesting. So if I were to go ahead and plug this end and plug the other end into my invisible iPad, then take the short charger and plug it into this one. That's right, you can charge two devices simultaneously. And then you could just go ahead and use one device and leave the other one charging. And then when you get bored, you could go ahead and switch the two. How awesome is that? But then he complained to me that, oh, I have an iPhone 4. I can't do any of that. Nope, you're wrong. This actually comes with a converter that goes from micro USB to your infamous normal iPhone 4 charger. So that's pretty convenient even, I gotta say. And if you look online, you can actually go ahead and find yourself a lightning cable one yet. I'm sure they'll be updating this very soon. We also get ourselves this. This isn't that useful, but if you do want to charge your digital camera, then it will be useful. The final thing inside of the box is, of course, a really... Ooh, this feels amazing. I want to give this away. I, I, like, I want to... Okay, this is awesome. Okay, so we get ourselves this little compartment thingy, and basically, you go ahead and you take your RAV power station, pull that little knob, and you should be able to protect it very nicely. But what I suggest you do is you simply sit there and feel it for about 20 minutes because this thing feels awesome. And uh, that basically means that it will be very protective of your device in case you want to put your phone and that inside of it. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that unboxing. 90% of unboxings are boring, but I tried to make the in that one interesting. So if I did, feel free to hit me a like and don't forget to do everything else that I mentioned in the description. Thank you for watching. This is going to be me logging off.